Have you ever been in a place where it was a difficult place to be in? For the most part, you hated to be in that place. Uh, I hate to say hate because it's such a strong word, but you just really despised the place you were in, the situation that you were in. Basically, uh, being in a place where you felt like you were stuck, you were stagnant, you weren't able to move forward, and there was just no progress in your life and no promotion, so to speak, in your life. And you just wanted to do something that was more fulfilling, something that was more satisfying. Have you ever wondered, what am I supposed to be doing? And when am I going to do it? I was sitting on my job and I was thinking about the job that I do. And I have to say sometimes I, I love the job, but then there are some times when I hate the job. And I myself uh, find myself to be in a place where I just want to do something different, want to do something that is more fulfilling something that is more satisfying, if you will. And I was sitting there thinking this, and in my discouragement, the Lord began to minister to me. And he just began to say to me that this is what it feels like when you are going through a shift, when you are experiencing uh, transitioning from one place to the next place or from one level to the next level. Oftentimes, we find ourselves in difficult places, um, places that we're not satisfied with. And of course, we want more. We look for more. And uh, we find ourselves in a place of uncertainty, a place where we don't know what's going on. We don't know what to do. Um, you know, it's an uncomfortable place to be in. And it is in this place. Uh, whether you've been in that place before or you're in that place now, but it's times like this when the Lord is saying you are transitioning. You are uh, in a shift. You're going from one place to the, to the next place. You're going from one level to the next level. And uh, it, it's a difficult place to be in, and yet... You find yourself, again, in an uncomfortable place because you're not in the place that you used to be in, and yet you have not arrived to the place where you're going. So you're just kind of uncertain. You're unstable, so to speak, uh, if you will. And uh, in other words, it's during times like this when the Lord is saying, it's time for you to move. Now, I do want you to pay close attention to what is going on around you um, because uh, paying attention is going to determine what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And uh, paying attention is going to determine what direction you're supposed to be going in. Now, just because you're unsatisfied with the job, so to speak, oftentimes we look at what's going on on the surface. And because we feel like we're not satisfied with the job, uh, that may be the first um, thing that we think is, I want to quit my job. I want to leave this job. When while we're looking at the surface, the job may not necessarily be the thing that is causing us to be unhappy. Oftentimes, uh, when, we're find out, when we find ourselves in places like this, it's usually usually something that's going on in the spirit realm so it's usually this dissatisfaction is coming from the spiritual uh, the spiritual realm uh, so we have to be careful that we're not so quick to quit our jobs or uh, whatever the situation may be in that we're not so quick to make a decision and act on it based on what we're looking at on the surface because it's usually something that is below the surface that is causing us to be unhappy. Uh, again, it simply means that it could very well be something that is spiritual, something that is deeper um, that is going on than you realize. 
uh, again because what's going on in the natural is a reflection of what's going on in the spirit. Now, does this mean that you should be doing something that is more fulfilling? Uh, that something that is more fulfilling more often than not is probably something that has to do with the purpose for which you were created. However, in order for us to determine that, you've got to be connected. You've got to be in touch with what is happening so that you can be aware of what's going on around you. Now, once you're connected, once you realize that something is happening, you may not know what necessarily, but you realize something is happening. There is going to be a stirring in your spirit. You know, that dream, that vision, uh, the goals that you have for yourself, that desire that never seems to go away, but it just burns within you. It will begin to come to the surface. And it will begin to dictate the direction you should be going in. In other words, the Lord will begin to reveal to you what it is that you should be doing. Again, this means that there is a shift that is taking place. There is a transition that is taking place. That means, again, you're going from one place to another. Uh, you're going from one level to the next level. Um, it, it, it simply means that the door of opportunity is open so that you're able to do whatever it is that is being revealed to you to do at that time. And that is what's going to take you into the next season of your life. Your dream, your vision, again, the goals that you have for yourself, whatever that desire is that is burning inside of you, uh, again, that is what's going to come to the surface uh, so that you'll be able to begin to work towards that. That dream, that vision, whatever it is, that is the very thing that you need to begin to work towards to begin to manifest in the earth. In other words, it's the blessing, that blessing that the Lord is getting ready to uh, bestow upon you that you're going to be able to walk in what you have only dreamed about in the past. You're going to be able to to, to touch it, to manifest it, to cause it uh, to, to, to happen. In the earth, where once was a dream, is now getting ready to become a reality. And even so, uh, even as the Lord began to share with me, and I want to prophesy to you that what most of us don't realize is once we began to realize or take notice of what is happening that is the very time when the blessing is getting ready to manifest. And so often uh, we overlook it because we're not paying attention uh, to what is actually happening. Or uh, for the most part, we sit around wishing and hoping and praying uh, that it would happen, but we don't take the necessary steps that are required in order for it to actually manifest in the natural. We can't sit around thinking we're going to become a millionaire and we don't do anything about it. Millions of dollars are not just going to drop into our laps. There is something that we have to do in order for it to manifest. There is something we have to do in order to begin to take steps for it to happen. And even as the Lord just began to say, uh, we, we need to pay attention to what's happening because he is opening doors for us. There are doors of opportunities that are open to us even right now. And I am prophesying to somebody and I just want to say to you right now, whatever it is that is stirring in your spirit, that dream, that vision, my God, do it now. Make it happen now. Begin to take the necessary steps 
that is going to require in order for that dream or that vision to begin to manifest. And the Lord even began to say to me, it's going to happen quickly. It's not going to take a long time for it to manifest in the earth. So I just want to encourage you right now. <laughs> Amen. I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. To do it now. Pay attention to what it is that the Lord is doing in your life. It's that same nagging feeling. It's that same burning desire that keeps coming up no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how many times you've tried to move on and say, mm, I don't know if this is me. I don't know where this is coming from. This is a blessing that the Lord is bestowing upon you. This is the blessing that the Lord has for you that was, my God, that was created for you even before the foundation of the world. And I just want to encourage you right now, my brother, right now, my sister, that whatever it is that, uh, that is stirring in your spirit, now is the time for you to uh, manifest it. The shift is happening right now. You are going from one place to the next place, from one level to a greater level that the Lord can begin to uh, pour out his blessings upon you. And I just want to encourage you right now to do it now. And I even hear the Lord saying right now, don't wait. Don't put it off. Now is the time. Now is your season to make it happen. And I'm excited in my spirit about what God is getting ready to do in your life. I'm excited because it's already done. It's already done. All you have to do is, is the, the, the formality of it. Amen. You just have to make it take those necessary steps so that it can begin to manifest in the earth. It has already been released in the heavens. The Lord has already released it. You just have to make it happen in the natural. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is trying to reveal to you your next level. My God. He's trying to reveal to you your next season. Hallelujah. He's revealing to you even on right now what it is that you should be doing. What it is of the direction you should be going in. Hallelujah. The direction that you should be taking. Hallelujah. Uh, in order for it to happen in the natural. It's already done in the spirit. You don't have to worry uh, how it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. All you have to do is begin to take the necessary steps uh, to, to uh, allow it to begin to manifest. Amen. In the natural, because it's already done. My brothers and my sister, I'm prophesying to somebody, do it now. My God, don't wait. My God, I cannot stress that enough. Don't wait. It is happening right now. You don't want to miss this opportunity that the Lord has for you. You don't want to miss this blessing that the Lord has for you. This very thing is what you've been waiting for. You've been praying for. You've been hoping for. And hallelujah, I hear the Lord say it's happening right now. And I want to encourage you to move on it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is happening uh, right now. The shift is happening right now. This transition is taking place right now. Hallelujah. And while it seemed to be a difficult position right now, once you began to take that first step to making it happen, it's going to begin to happen quickly. It is not going to take a long time for it to happen. Hallelujah. I even hear the Lord say, once you take that first step, you're going to begin walking in it. You're going to begin walking in it. It's not going to take a long time for it to manifest. My God, my God. I want somebody to grab this. The Lord is doing it right now. That thing is manifesting right now in the name of Jesus. Even as you're sitting there, hallelujah, being excited about what is getting ready to happen. Hallelujah. I'm excited for you. Hallelujah. Lord say it's happening right now. It is happening right now. You just have to begin to take the necessary steps for it to manifest in the earth. We can no longer sit back 
thinking that it's just going to drop in our lives. Whatever it is, that business you want, that book you're thinking about writing, my God, my God, hallelujah, the ministry you're thinking about starting, whatever it is, whatever it is that the Lord has put on your heart, whatever that stirring is, whatever that a vision is, the dream that he gave you, hallelujah. I just want to encourage you to begin to act on it right now in the name of Jesus. God is doing it right now and I'm so excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited about what he's getting ready to do in your life. In fact, let me correct myself. I'm excited about what he is doing in your life. Not getting ready to. He's doing it right now in the name of Jesus. And I need you, hallelujah, to come into agreement with what he has said to you. That you would stand on the promise that he has given you. That it will begin to manifest. You don't have to wait any longer. Your time is now says the Lord. And I just want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, hallelujah, don't look back. Look ahead, hallelujah, to what God is doing in your life as he continues, hallelujah, to prove himself unto you faithful time and time again. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for the things that he is doing in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.